Hello, hello, this is Natasha, and I'm so thankful to come back and be able to talk to you about what is on the heart of the Lord. So I uh, will pray, and I just uh, pray that everything is going well on your end, and you are fully basking in the love that our Father lavishes on you daily. That is my prayer for you. So we'll get started with a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to speak to your people. I pray that you will bring who you want to watch this and that you will be glorified. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will have your way and um, that you alone, Father, will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, so... Um, like I said, I hope all is well. So we're just going to go right in. This is probably going to take a little longer than I normally go because um, the Lord has actually given me some personal words for specific people and he knows who they are. He knows where they are and I believe he will direct them to receive this word from him, which I find to be such a blessing. God is so faithful, and you know, I say it often because I really want it to sink in on how much God loves us and how he wants the very best for us, and he really wants us to know him as as our Father and our Lord and our God and everything that we stand in need of. He wants us to trust him to be that for us, so I am um, never tired of um, having that conversation because um, I know the love that he pours on me daily and what he pours on you. So I just pray that you uh, recognize it, embrace it, and let it be part of your life, right? So, and like I said, he wants the best for us. And, you know, he doesn't want for us to fall for the tricks of the enemy. You know, the enemy is promising uh, so worldly stuff that will lead us to a place that we don't want to go where God wants us to be able to have eternal life. So remember that the word says in John 10, 10, that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came so that we can have a more abundant life. So that's the life that we should be going for the abundant life, the life that's full of joy, that's full of love, you know, full of peace. And, you know, the peace, especially the peace that passes all, all understanding. So I pray that you can experience the love, the joy, and the peace, which is your portion. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and read the word of the Lord and um, just insert a couple of scriptures and then we'll go into the personal words that he has given me for um his children which i find to be so amazing okay so the lord says that there is great and grave danger coming on the earth and that we are to warn the people his people to trust in him and pray I will hear and answer their prayers. I am a gracious God, Father, and want all my children to be saved from what's to come. But some are caught up with the things of the world, celebrating a day that has nothing to do with my son. Pray to come out of what's to come. Pray to endure the end time. Pray to your Papa, for I will hear your prayers and answer them. So the scriptures I wanted to throw in with that would insert is Luke 21, 36. And it says, watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So... All we have to do is pray. All we have to do is call on to him and ask him to help us to be able to endure the time that's coming. But you have to have a relationship with him. 
You have to be able to know him as your papa to be able to see that as these times are coming, that you are already in relationship, that you've already received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and therefore can cry out to him to save you in the time of need. So remember, again, like I said, the end result is to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. That's the answer. The word actually says Jesus is the, the life, the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can go to his Father unless they go through him. So accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior is the ultimate end result, the only answer. Jesus is the only answer. Okay? So as the word says that... Pray to your Papa, for I will, I will hear your prayers and answer them. So God will answer your prayers. Okay, so a few scriptures to support that is 1 John 5, 14 and 15. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. That's faith. Just knowing that we have it. Matthew 7, 7 through 11. That one's pretty long, but we'll read that. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. And knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks the door will be open. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him. Ask, knock. Right? Seek, ask, and knock. That's what he's saying that we should do. And he'll hear us. He'll answer us. And he'll open the door to us. Another scripture is Isaiah 65, 24. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. You know, and what I love is when he says he knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're going to ask before you even ask. Right? Another one is Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in... <coughs> excuse me. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So, those are just four scriptures of many to increase your faith, to let you know that whatever you stand in need of, you can pray and ask your Father, and He will give it to you. All you have to do is know that you can go to Him, believe that He is one who will answer prayers, and He is definitely, and just know that He is very faithful. Very, very faithful. So as I mentioned earlier, the Lord gave me um, a personal word for a couple of people. I believe it's five or six people. And um, I don't know them. It's more than six, actually. I don't know them, but he knows them very well. And that's what I love about it because, you know, some people don't have, you know, a prophet or somebody in their midst that can... Um, give them the word of the Lord, but the, the Lord is so gracious, right, that he actually gives words and warnings and encouragements to help us along our journey. You know, he sends people to help us. He sends someone with the word. He sends someone with an act of kindness that will assist us in our, in our walk, in our journey. So, I am going to give these words out, and I'm going to believe that who these words are for will receive them, and they will be blessed, because that's what these words do, or encourage, or warn, or put people on the right path, 
right? Which is um, a blessing. Okay, so the first word is for someone named Natalie. Well, Natalie, you're struggling with an eyesight, with eyesight issues, and I'm not sure exactly what they are, but the Lord said that he will heal your right eye and your, your sight will be totally restored. So that's a blessing and that's a good word to stand on to know that God will heal your eyesight, your right eye, and that your eyesight is going to be totally restored. So we give God glory for that in advance. Okay, Jack. Someone named Jack. I'm restoring a broken relationship. I sense that it was a marriage. And it was a marriage of many years that has been broken because of lies and gossip. The Lord says, I, the Lord, will reveal the truth to you and mend you and Julie's heart. So your wife's name is Julie. Trust me to do it as you have been so heartbroken and I have seen your tears. Don't fret, my son. Your marriage will be restored. So we give God glory for that in advance for the restoration of Jack and Julie's marriage. So this word is for Roy. Roy, that person that you are seeing is not my choice for you. I have the person that will be a blessing to you in what I have called you to do. You know it because you are not at peace when you are with this person. Wait on me to show you who I have for you. You will be happy with my choice. I always find that it's beneficial to wait on the Lord. So, Roy, I encourage you to uh, heed the word of the Lord. Okay, this word is for author. And how you will know that this word is for you, by the way, is just the way it would quicken in your spirit. You know, you would hear something and you would say, oh yeah, that's for me. You would feel it on the inside. The Holy Spirit will help you to know that this word is your word. So that's how you'll know that this word is for you. Okay, so this word is for author. Author, I have warned you several times and you won't obey me. My word says, obedience is better than sacrifice. You know what I've called you to do, and you continue to ignore me. Choose rightly, or you will not like the outcome. I am the Lord your God, and it is my will. You have a blessed, peaceful life, that you cannot have that outside of me. You cannot have that life on your own. For you have not created yourself. Please heed my warning, son, for great peril is at your door. So, author, I, su I, I encourage you, suggest, encourage you to heed the word of the Lord because he wants the best for you. Okay, this next word is for Val. Val. Val, I am restoring and redeeming time lost over the years. You are living in regret, and I desire you know that I, the Lord your God, will give you beauty for ashes. For I have heard your cry and see, seen your tears, and I will dry your tears and redeem the time that you have been faithful in serving serving me even when it wasn't easy. I will return what was lost. Be encouraged, daughter. I will restore and redeem the time and all that was lost. So we give God glory for what he'll do for Val. And Val, be encouraged that the Lord your God hears you and will come and rescue you. And that's the kind of God that we serve. So we give him glory for being such an awesome father. Okay, so this next word is for Lance. My son, you are running well, but will experience great deception from someone very close to you. It will be hard at first, almost devastating 
but it will not end in death. You will come out with flying colors. Remember my word says, all things work together for your good. So when it happens, don't be alarmed. I will be right there with you and will protect you. So I sense that there's some type of setup that's going to happen to you, Lance. So just remember that God is going to be with you and he'll help you to be able to get through this very devastating time. This next word is for Debbie. Debbie, wait on me. You want to make a choice and, are, and you are torn between two things. Don't fret or worry. I will show you which way to go. Just wait for me to show you. I will be very clear to show you which path to take. Just trust me, the author and finisher of your faith. Okay, Debbie, so wait on the Lord. And he will direct your path, just like it says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in him in all things, and he will direct your path. Okay, so the last, nope, the next to the last word that I have is from Michael. Michael, I've called you to minister, but you are running from the call. I'm calling to reach a certain people that will hear your voice and turn to me. I desire that you will trust me and choose me and answer the call. Michael, I strongly suggest you stop running. You can't outrun God, believe me. <laughs> I, um, I pray that you answer the call. Um, what you're running from is really something that's going to be a blessing to you. So I encourage you to just answer the call and get, get ready for an adventure or a journey that God has for you. You can't go wrong with God, Michael. Okay, so the last word is for someone named Denise. Okay, Denise, sickness is knocking at your door and that is not my will for you. Pray to me and I will heal you. Cry out to me and I will save you and your family. Time is short. Time is short. And um, Denise, I just, you know, he's, he's already telling you what to do. Pray to him and he'll heal you. You know, just know that healing is your portion. That is what he wants to do. So whatever the report says, don't believe the report of the doctor. Don't believe the report of what anyone says. Believe what your father says, that if you pray to him, that he will heal you, which is who he is, which is what Jesus did when he came on the earth. He healed, he delivered, and he set free. So the Lord is already telling you that that is your portion. So have faith in what God is saying. And when the time comes, if someone comes and tell you about a sickness, a doctor, or what have you, you say not so, and you stand on the word today that the Lord has told you that all you have to do is pray to him and he will heal you. So Denise, be encouraged. Uh, God has you on his mind, which is the best place to be. So um, again, he has said a couple of times, you know, time is short, time is short. We really have to learn how to navigate these end times. And the only way that we can do it is if we have relationship with him. We have to take time out to hear his voice. We have to take time out to hear instructions and follow the instructions. You know, he is a God who talks to us daily. He um, wants the best for us. And, you know, I encourage you to take time out, you know, a couple of hours. Well, hmm, that's probably a lot. <laughs> but um, even an hour, you know, 30 minutes reading the word, 30 minutes praying, and maybe another 5, 10, 15 minutes of just sitting in his presence and listening to him. You know, he's called me out of work, so I actually have um, that kind of time to spend with him, which is a blessing, you know, but he's such a faithful God, and he knows what everybody's time is, and any time that you can take um, away, you know, to spend with him, he will honor it, you know, if you cry out to him, even to help you to find more time, he will honor it.
So I um, just, you know, thank you for your time. I appreciate and, and really enjoy. I'm really enjoying doing these videos. I thank God for using me, you know, to be a blessing to his children. And I will just end in prayer and until the next video. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for all these beautiful words that you have sent forth for your children. And I thank you for having them on your mind and on your heart enough to be able to send them a word of encouragement, a, a direction, or even a, or even a correction. I ask you, Lord, to just continue to grow in your children's lives and allow them to be able to see you for who you are, a good, good father, a good, good papa, a God who loves and restores and rescues his children. So Holy Spirit, we give you all the glory and honor, Father. We praise you, we bless you, and um, I thank you for who you will send to hear these words. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, blessings. See you next time.